Welcome back to The Helpful Home. As with all mornings, the first meal of the day is served to Mr. Rufus, and here he is waiting patiently to be released for his breakfast, and I am waiting not so patiently to be released for my coffee. And I apparently lost the footage to that coffee, but as usual, it was a bulletproof coffee with one tablespoon unrefined coconut oil, one tablespoon fourth and hard ghee, and I had it with this honey Greek yogurt with berries and slivered almonds. I think altogether this yogurt is just around 300 calories, and my bulletproof coffee is 230. For lunch, I've got a bed of romaine with some cucumbers, some of the organic sugar plum tomatoes, which are the only tomatoes that are any good in winter, uh, sliced hard boiled eggs, gorgonzola cheese, some of the Greek goddess dressing from Trader Joe's, which is only 20 calories for two tablespoons. And I ended up topping this with a small handful of pistachios for some crunch and extra protein. For dinner tonight, we mixed it up and did sort of a barbecue style summer plate. We took some chicken off of a rotisserie. I used that carcass later to make broth for homemade pork ramen. I added a, or a paleo barbecue sauce, and then we made some gluten-free mac and cheese using some veginase because we don't do egg for my daughter, and mustard, pickle juice, sliced pickles, sliced red onions, and topped it with smoked papri paprika. That gives it like a nice summer flavor. We have a pretty fun adventure planned for this Friday morning. I'm definitely starting off with my Bulletproof coffee, 230 calories of healthy fat, because I'm not having breakfast till on the go. And here we are on my husband's first trip to Ikea. He will either love it or hate it. I am having one of the clean eating RX bars. I love that the ingredients are so clean, they're right on the front, and we will take you inside. In Ikea today to pick all new bedding. We're going with this one. My husband loves gray and white. I like to mix up the patterns. We bought it all right down to the curtains and the throw pillows and I will show you that redo when we're finished. And of course the best part of Ikea is the food court and I was so pleasantly surprised with all of their gluten-free options. Here I just went ahead and got a shot of their standard menu for you. There are a lot of items on this menu you can have but they also have a strictly gluten-free menu for you to choose from. As you can see, the gluten-free menu is pretty extensive, and they even tell you that you can have the veggie ball plate instead of the chicken meatball plate, as long as you request mashed potatoes instead of the rice pilaf. If or not, there is a gluten-free item in this beautiful dessert case, and I will show it to you shortly. Here it is, the beautiful chocolate caramel almondy cake, clearly labeled gluten-free salad case which is clearly allergen labeled. Here we have our lunch which is completely gluten-free. It has a beautiful almond tort that believe it or not is gluten-free. You have to substitute the mashed for the rice pilaf in the veggie ball. Um, I also want to say that they have a statement on their website that says they are committed to non-GMO food items and no food enhancers. How you know it was a successful trip. Dinner tonight, we had an old standby, which is fish tacos. We used the cod from Trader Joe's. It is $5 for a family of four, and it is in the frozen case, but it tastes beautiful and fresh, not fishy at all. I pair it with a sriracha slaw, and that recipe is in my meal planning Monday from this week, if you would like to go to the link. And we eat it on the clean corn tortillas from Trader Joe's. As usual, my Saturday mornings always start with my organic protein and greens. I made this with unsweetened almond milk today, added a banana and a little fresh kale, and my bulletproof coffee with unrefined coconut oil and fourth and hard ghee, and off to the treadmill. So I ended up going with the recumbent bike today. I knocked out 150 calories first thing in the morning. Great start to my day hitting water after my workout, and my favorite water is Meyer lemon water with mint. I am not a lemon girl, I prefer lime or cucumber, but the Meyer lemon when it is out is just a cross between a mandarin and a lemon, and it is heavenly. For lunch, I made little mini cracker bread pizzas. It is the gluten-free cracker bread from Trader Joe's. They're about 130 calories a piece. I top it with a tablespoon of clean marinara, that's with no added sugar, and then some organic provolone, some organic Colby Jack, and don't forget the Italian seasoning, and I pop those in the microwave, and they really have a beautiful flavor. I always put produce on my plate. Here we have some blueberries, and I always like something pickled on my lunch plate, so some jalapeno garlic olives. For dinner, we made honey soy chicken. 
it was kind of a group effort because my husband put the thighs on the Traeger and that really does take this dinner up a notch. You can also put the honey soy sauce right onto the chicken thigh and pop it in the oven. I believe it's like 425, 450. You want to cook it hot for about 40 minutes and then um, place it on a bed of brown rice. Add some toasted sesame seeds, some green onions, and this is a baby organic broccoli from Trader Joe's. It was heavenly. It's a little like broccolini. My family thought it was a cross between broccoli and asparagus, but they all preferred it to both those vegetables, and they eat those vegetables well, so this broccoli was a hit. Try it out. Then my after dinner dessert was a bite of this gluten-free vegan chocolate chip cookie dough. It is from Eat Pastry. It is non-GMO. It is of course not a completely clean eating food, but the ingredients are actually quite beautiful. I've shown that before on additional vlogs, so I'm sure you've seen it, but I consider a bite a cookie. And this food vlog is going up Monday morning instead of Sunday evening as per usual because I take Sundays off of filming my food, but I really wanted to show this dinner. It is my grandma Margie's homemade pork ramen, and once we found the ramen noodles that are gluten-free from Costco, we were so excited to be able to make this dinner again. So I did film a cook with me, and I will be putting that up in just a couple of days. I'm editing it now. So if any of you want to follow along and make this gluten-free ramen dinner, that will be going up soon. Thanks so much for joining us on The Helpful Home for our food vlog and meal planning Monday coming up today.